Ball's looking to run. Jordan from deep. Yes. The Bulls take a five. Here's Jordan. Lakers 10, and they call it on Magic. Timeout taken, 6.36 remaining in this first quarter. Jordan at the guard. That is Byron Scott opening against Michael Jordan. Jordan able to blow right by. And Magic immediately. Which is understandable that uh, Jordan has just disheartened him on so many occasions. Jordan battling for the rebound and fires again. What? Bad pass saved by Cartwright. Oh, what a pass from Jordan. Jordan has decided that he's going to cut out the perimeter game for a while and try to take this thing to the basket strong. He foot fakes middle, goes baseline, no rotation. Scott. And back come the balls. They're down by three. Pippen for Jordan. The Laker lead is one to the free throw line. The nice thing about this Bulls team is they have a number of people who can lead the make the right decision, and then perhaps the best finisher in basketball, Michael Jordan. Three on two, Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. And he drew the foul. Great quickness by the Bulls in transition and the willingness to give the ball up. Jordan. Pitching ahead to Pippen, another guy who finishes pretty well. 25, the Bulls 24, as we come up on one minute left in this opening quarter. Jordan off the fake. And at the buzzer. Game tied at 26. Jordan. Some three ten seconds to go in the quarter. Seconds to go. They are standing and cheering the Bulls, who with a late drive have taken a 30-29 lead on the Lakers. Led by Michael Jordan. I like to do to end quarters, put the ball in Jordan's hand because he usually makes something good happen. You know, many times they say that when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's going to happen for the opposition. Takes a page out of Magic's book with the hook pass over the top. A spectacular first quarter for Michael Jordan. Seven for ten for 15 points. Shot Steve Jones from Chicago Stadium. For two from Jordan. And you can see men will then try to back down the player into the scoring area, and at a certain point, you'll see Magic turn his head, ask for help from his teammates, but keep an eye underneath Will Purdue because Jordan finds his open teammates. Yes, he is the czar of the Telestrator. Let's go to Amar. All right, Mark, good. Last time out, Bill Jackson forced the miss. Crowd wanted to travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two-on-one. Here's Jordan. to body up on him, did not give him a chance to double. As soon as he caught the basketball, he turned and went. Keep an eye at Scott and Jordan down low. The battle taking place, the bodies, the arms. It's a battle out here. Jordan called for his second. Magic Johnson has been very quiet offensively. Second clock sounded. Lakers 63, Bulls 61. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan hits from downtown. Right. We'll be on hand starting 9 o'clock Eastern time. Game 3 of the 4 in Los Angeles next Friday. Game 4 in L.A. next Sunday night. Michael Jordan has 25. Lakers lead at 75. You turn the Lakers season around? Wait a moment. Well, what did you tell Magic? I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a secret. Jordan has given the ball. And back come the Bulls.
Jordan with the pull up. Yes! The Chicago Bulls with a 78. He will go to the foul line. Jordan, once he gets the basketball, has a full head of steam, but then gains control of the dribble, pulls up, so he gets the good look at the basket, the good position, and then he is ready to open this thing up and wants to get everybody else involved. However, he just committed his fourth. Reacting as the Chicago Bulls broke the huddle, step back on. Scotty Pippen has checked back in, playing with the five fouls. Bill Cartwright has returned. Here's Jordan. Yes. The game is tied at 80 with six minutes and 40 in the fourth quarter with five fouls, as is Scotty Pippen. Lakers with a four-point lead. Jordan changed his mind and found Grant. He was able to hang and extend in midair. Able to come away with it. the great ability once he gets in the air to understand and know where his teammates are and then make that split decision at the end leading to score Scott rather than trying to extend and block it tries to get Jordan on the way up baskets good and a chance for the three-point play so Byron Scott collects his fourth foul timeout taken the game tied at Guarding Jordan may have had its effects on Byron Scott. He's only one for four in this game so far. He tries to swipe it before Jordan can get the ball up over his head, knowing that Michael's a little too big and elevates too well. Michael certainly loves it. Well, Magic Johnson started in low-key fashion in the first half. And a number of times the hands of Vlade Divac an excellent catch that time of a pass that actually was a little bit too long what a pass from Jordan and Grant has tied it at six make him play defense maybe pick up some early fouls Jordan backing Scott yes he hit for Jordan thought he'd be cutting by Thompson steps out on a switch and Grant able to take the pass from Jordan Something that you saw time and time again in the series against Philadelphia. First quarter, it's the Bulls by five. Check out Michael Jordan's eyes as he looks to his right at the last minute. Divac goes for the eye fake, flies across the lane. Jordan finds his teammate Grant under the basket for the score. Jordan reminding his teammates, keep your eyes open. I'll find you if you're there. And it was Michael Jordan who committed that uh, foul. Just take a little break at the defensive end for Michael Jordan. Good look by Worthy, but Jordan over for the block. They have readjusted the clock, and they say one second remaining on the 24. One of the things that Michael Jordan does so well is block shots. Cartwright from Jordan. Jordan into the point guard spot, playing Levingston at the small forward. Offensive foul call on Magic Johnson. That is his first. And when you talk about having courage and guts, keep in mind that Michael Jordan is playing with two fouls right now, yet he decides he's going to step in and take the offensive foul with about a minute and a half left in this first. Pippen had the mismatch. Found Jordan open. Here's Michael. And that is only his second field goal. Bulls posting. There's Jordan. Over Scott. Magic trying to set in the first half. It's the Bulls 40. The Lakers, 37. Jordan, a quiet first half by design, looking to get others involved. Now Michael looking to break out. 
and he has. He's hit four of six. He has eight points. The Bulls have a two-point lead. Scott did a nice job in preventing that hard dribble move to the right. First picked up by Scotty Pippen. Give Jordan the ball live at the top of the circle. He loves to play from there, forcing teams to double from the wing, from the side, from behind, from on top, and he still scores. Not, and that camera's got to go. Can you pick up that much? Is it a value? How much do you need to save one basket and win a game? Again, a nice lead from Jordan. And Bronco Stadium. Michael Jordan, yes. He has 12. Bulls lead it inning in the third quarter. The Bulls have hit their last four field goal attempts. Six of eight here in the third. Jordan with the step and the bucket. He was fouled. That's at least three, four times that Magic's turned to the official in the last six or seven minutes of play. Michael Jordan, 11. This represents their biggest lead of the night. Jordan over Scott. Yes. Cliff Levingston is back. So Levingston, Williams, and Pippen up front. Jordan and packs into the backcourt. Here's Jordan. Yes. And it counts. Four minutes of a game. The ball goes in Michael Jordan's hands. Well, so far this half, Phil Jackson has put it in his hands the entire third quarter. Scotty Pippen saying to Michael, keep it going. Got us on a roll. Is that what he said? That has developed here with the Chicago Bulls now up by 14. Lakers have to get the shots up a little bit more frequently than the other day. Paxson. Again. Paxson, who becomes an unrestricted free agent at the end of this year. A perfect compliment to Jordan, who receives double and triple teams. All he needs to do is slide to the open spot and then make the shot when Michael delivers the ball. As Pippen is able to get to it and decides to regroup. When Jordan scored the uh, 46, that was the uh, the one loss in the series to the Sixers. Jordan again. He has 24. The Bulls 84. Jordan with the ball at the top of the circle is so difficult to guard, particularly when you have shooters like Paxson spotting up on the wings. To play him head up, one on one, a nightmare. 71. Jordan, yes. Out of it and force some turnovers, some hurried shots, try and get some easy scores themselves. And here's Jordan going for 12. He's got it. 12 straight field goals from Michael Jordan. The Lakers only one for 10 from the floor. And the four, Pippen on the alley. -oop. We said last game when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's going to happen to the opposition. Once again, the tongue out. There's the bad thing right there. Fire away. He's now one for nine. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. That's 13 consecutive. Jordan's trying to find a way to miss his shot. Instead of taking the easy one, he tries to make it hard and still comes up. He's saying to the fans, I love it. The tongue is out. Something bad about to happen to the Lakers. It's Michael Jordan taking off for the deuce. It almost looked as if he remembered the slam dunk competition from a few years ago. It starts out with the flying one-hander. It says, no, 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 I used that one already to win the slam dunk. Let me change up and entertain a little bit right now. Woo! He liked it himself. Bill Jackson, I kind of like having that guy on my team. Scott Williams, an observer, and he can't believe it.
Michael Jordan has hit his last 13 field goal attempts. For some quick shots, some misses, some fast break opportunities for Los Angeles. Jordan. Yes. For Chicago will live with that. Their defense was very, very good in game one. It's been even better in game two. Tenacious, aggressive the entire evening. Horace Grant has had a, a spin. The Boston Garden against the Celtics. However, Boston able to win it in double overtime over Chicago. 135, 131 as they uh, one game two of their three game sweep despite the 63 by this man who at one point tonight hit 13 consecutive. Game on Wednesday as in Bill Conrad. Magic guarding Jordan who was able to convert on his first field goal attack. Get there to form a trap. A double team can't give him a clear look at the basket. And Jordan hits from long range. Daylight for Scott. Jordan from downtown. Michael Jordan with a three-pointer. And it gives the motion. Then the second man, Perkins, flashes right in behind him. Here's Jordan. Yes. Well, Michael Jordan getting off fast in this first quarter, which it... Shot clock down at five. Three. Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan with a fadeaway. The shot clock was down at two. The game is tied at 23. On Purdue, who came over to help out. Let's go back a moment ago when Scott was playing Jordan right there, challenges the shot, but the difference in size and the fade, the elevation by Jordan gets the shot off. He rolled down in the post. Keep in mind, the Lakers have so many more post-up players than the Bulls do. Are you saying the disparity is understandable? I'm saying that uh, L.A. is in trouble right now with yes. this guy handling it against Michael. And it is a backcourt 10-second violation. Evots handles the ball well, but you do not want Vladi one-on-one -on -one with Magic Johnson as he's bouncing the ball. I was trying to get it in a little bit sooner, but you knew he was having big problems when Michael decided to stay with him. Vladi was hoping he would run away and go somewhere else, but he didn't. Confidence that Michael Jordan has built in Levingston. Two times. Steal right there by Chicago. Jordan twice in a row dishing to Levingston for scores. And Michael Jordan converts. He has 13. The Bulls lead by three. Good run. And Pippen knocked it out. What a save by Pippen. Jordan Jordan on the rebound. It is, that is his third for the game. Beautiful look away. Jordan for Pippen, and the game is tied at 74. The Chicago Bulls have come roaring back. Lakers requesting the timeout with eight minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the third. Perkins with the left hand flip. Turned back by Levingston. And back down court, the look away from Jordan to Pippen. A 20 to 7 run by Chicago to tie it. Jordan regrouping. And then fires. Yes. And that is his first field goal. And quite a spell. He now has 21 points. When you could take the ball in the backcourt rather than advance it to half court, feeling they have a better chance of getting it into Jordan's hands there than they would if they tried to take it at the half court line. And the Bulls do not have any timeouts remaining. Craig Hodges, the three point specialist, has checked in. Here's Jordan on the pull up. Yes! And the game is tied! with three and four tenths seconds remaining. Lakers call for a timeout. With the threat of the three-point shooters on the floor, you can't come and help quite as quickly on Michael. He gets Scott back into an area where he feels comfortable. After coming down, he almost seems once again to be bothered by the bad knees. The right side of the floor has been cleared out. He's got a full head of steam, and now it's just a matter of elevating before Divots can make the rotation over. Prior to three of the best of seven NBA championship series. Here's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan. Holding foul on Jordan. That's five. 
Jordan makes the move. Divots never comes across. He lets Jordan come to him. He can't do that. It's going to be too late. He creates too many ways and invents new ones each. The spin by Jordan and hits on the reverse. Michael saving it for overtime. Two. Jordan loves to use the rim to come up on the other side. He drives baseline, sees the rotation coming, has the great ability to hang and reverse it for the score. Jordan, who loves to drive baseline, uses the defense by bringing it up on one side and then hanging and reversing over to the other side. One of the reasons why we always wanted to force him to the middle of the floor, Jordan likes it. He says, we got him now, let's go. And Michael and Magic have each logged 50 minutes. Version. Laker foul on Worthy. Jordan off the head fake. Yes. Michael Jordan with his. They've hit their last six from the field. Jordan. Yes, it counts, but he came up hobbling. Once again, landing on that right foot with the sore toe. If they're going to force him baseline, you've got to rotate sooner. Sam Perkins waits. It's too late under the basket with Jordan attacking the way he does. Foul called on Perkins, his second. Here comes A.C. Green checking back in. He almost shifts to another gear. He elevates and then just goes a little bit higher when he knows he needs to get a plus. We see here in the finals, has he lost confidence? No, but they better start producing because the series is winding up short. And that shot by Teagle went short. Jordan at the other end, able to hit. The Bulls lead up Green and Worthy. In transition, the Bulls do a great job of keeping their heads up and looking down the floor. And then who better than Michael to catch and convert? They go off in front of the rest of the field. It's just a matter of whether or not the point guard sees him and can deliver the ball. Greg Hodges called for his second foul. And Englewood, it's game number four of the best of seven. Shot clock running down on the Bulls. Jordan gets it off. And Michael Jordan. Now has nine points despite the jam toe, and you can see he's a bit on the to the shot by Devons. Bulls lead at 39 35. Jordan around Devons. Tremendous ball movement by Chicago. They really trust each other, believe in each other. After a complete swing rotation of the basketball, they wind up with Devons trying to move out on Jordan. Just a mismatch there. No way Vladi can guard him off the dribble. This is all a result of the Bulls offense and ball movement getting it to the weak side to take advantage of that situation. Jordan. So the Lakers have the advantage in the first quarter. You can really see the difference in quickness that time. Jordan again off the dribble to the basket and foul. Scotty Pippen jumped twice last time before Sam Perkins got up one time to keep it alive. Again, off the dribble, he catches Magic straightening up in the defensive stance, rotation too late, they just let him go for the score. So much for the jammed toe theory. Michael Jordan has come on strong in the second quarter. He now has 13 points. The foul committed earlier the second quarter. Michael Jordan fires, yes! So, just for the half, along with six assists. Final seconds of the first half, and Jordan able to unleash and connects. Actually, that play had broken down on the weak side of the floor. The players had started too early, so Michael hit the postman and then moved in that direction to get the return. Three seconds is an eternity in the NBA. The Bulls at halftime lead in the second quarter at one stretch. They missed nine in a row. Nice pass from Jordan, and Grant extends to a one. To get him posterized, perhaps. Remember the talk of a contest between the two as Jordan is able to drill it home for a 66-52 lead. There was talk of a pay-per-view Bulls with a 12-point lead. Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, he hit 
the back of the rim as he saw Devots approach. He saw, the, he saw the poor shooting by the L.A. Lakers. They have died since midway through the second quarter. Jordan on the fade because he knows Devots is coming after him here, so he has to get it up higher over the top of the big man. I'll just back up a little bit and say goodbye as I knock it out. We and the Bulls maintain possession. And this has been the story throughout the series for the Lakers. They just can't come up with the ball when they need it most. Jordan. He beat Teagle off the dribble and then was able to spin. Jordan turning the corner down the lane. He has those long strides and the ultimate in concentration, anticipating Divac. Jordan from deep. 25 for Michael Jordan. And Teagle now one for six, and it leads to this. How many times in the playoffs have the Bulls done this, where they end? Goes to the speed and quickness. One thing the Bulls love to do is leak a player out. Jordan sometimes, Pippen the other times. Two guys who really finish well at the other end. Harkins able to keep it alive. Teagle had it knocked away. Look out. Michael Jordan all right. Michael coming out of the pack, telling Scotty Pippen that he's he's fine. Terry Cheagle trying to make a move off the dribble, which is good. They need somebody to break down the defense, but then you have to have the ability to make the pass. Jordan with the hustle at all times into the crowd to try and save it. Still established, touched the ball, and then came down in the backcourt. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. Michael Jordan with his second field goal. The Bulls defense finds a way to get easy scores. Fourth in the league this year in steals. Jordan, one of the best pickpockets you're going to find, and then one of the best finishers at that end. And challenging the shot. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23 21. Here's Jordan. And the Lakers back to Devots, bringing it up, and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Again, we hate to keep... Uh, Armstrong and Jordan in the backcourt. Caught right, Grant Pippen up front. Here's Jordan. Michael is now 5 for 8. He has 10. And 2. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green, stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. They change in so quickly. They go from the defense to the... ...by four. Timeout has been called. Michael Jordan, who leads the team in steals and block shots, loves to come from behind the offensive player's head to get a piece. Leads the fast break, looks down the floor, sees his teammate wide open, and as Pippen goes up right there, Perkins hits him in the head. Michael Jordan turns to the official and says, make the call. He got hit in the head. Pippen grabs his head. We want a three-point play from that. Jordan, yes. 18 for Jordan. The ball from the field, and the game is tied at 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. But going back. Pippen played by Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Going to the left hand and able to squeeze. And the Lakers are tied at 80. Scotty Pippen with the lead for Michael Jordan. The Lakers able to come right back. Largest move by Jordan with the left hand. We'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. Marv Albert, Mike 
for Tello Amon Rashad. Steve Jones. Michael Jordan. Yes. He has 25. Five at 88. 740 remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan can sense that the crowd is in it, that the Lakers are in it. He's going to take it into his own hands. He starts actually in the middle of the lane of finish. This far crowd. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. He goes with Jordan against the double team, the triple team, the rotating defense, the pump fake, the rotations. Still finds a way to score. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship.